Turn on, Pashas Vayakl, it's very late. <coughs> it's in for a few minutes. 172 at the bottom. The Pasik says, Vayakl, Meshe, it's called Adas Ben Yisrael. Meshe Rabbeinu gathered all the Eden together, Vayim Alem, and he said to them, Sheish, he told them about the construction of the Mishkan, but he gave an introduction. Sheish is Yom and Tas, Tehosim, Lochav, Yom Ashvi, Yalochem, Shkodesh, Shabbos, Shabbos, and Hashem. Six days he worked, the seventh day is Shabbos. The Hav and my men are out to understand what the Gemara says on the Islam and Islam of Pasha Shabbos, Lamechus and Mishkan. The Chazal tell us what's the connection between Rashi brings it down. What's the connection between Shabbos and Mishkan? To tell us as important as building the Mishkan is, it doesn't desecrate Shabbos. That's number one. Gam Tzorch Lahovim, Mepnei Mabit Siva, Kodesh Baruch Hu Lamech Shadarenu Pasha Shumet Tzava. First, it says, Klay Mishkan, Arin Vaz Shulchan. Vahamineira, Vachakach Malacha, Samishkan Atzma, then Pashas Trumet, okay, Trumet the Tzava is when Meshir Hashem commanded Meshir Abeno. Vayakop Akude is the repetition where Meshir Abeno is repeating it to the Yid. So in Trumet the Tzava, first he told him about the Kalim of the Mishkan, the Arin, the Shulchan, the Mineira, and then Malacha Samishkan, then he told him about the curtains. And uh, at the end, it says, Then at the end is Shabbos. In other words, when Hashem commanded Meshir Rabbeinu, the order was like this. The Kalim of the Mishkan, the order and the Menei that, then the building of the Mishkan itself, and then the laws of Shabbos. Arihiktim Kalim, then Uriyes, and then Shabbos. But to Betziv and Meshir Rabbeinu Yisrael, meaning in Parshat Vayakol, Meshir Hapach HaSedet. Meisha turned around the order. Mamish made it in reverse. First, Chile Shabbos, then the Melechah Samishkan, Vachakach HaKelem. Why did Meisha Rabbeinu switch the order around from the way Hashem told it to him? Make for me a Mishka, I'll dwell in their midst. Beseich, the name doesn't say in its midst. El Beseich, in their midst, meaning Beteich Glolus and Shabbos Yisrael. Within every single yid, Yishkin Kvet Hashem, the glory of Hashem rests, Aidei HaMishkan, through the Mishkan. That was then. Now, how do you create a Mishkan? Aidei Asaka Metayda Mitzvahs. And he says, why? Teyda is like the vessels of the Mishkan, and the Mitzvahs are the curtains of the Mishkan. Why? Kalim represents internalized. The curtains of the Mishkan represent the encompassing level. The same the Torah. Torah you digest internally, understand it. Mitzvahs are called garments. They surround the person. So just like in the building of the Mishkan, in order to keep Hashem here, they had the utensils, the kalim of the Mishkan. And then they also had the curtains of the Mishkan. Why? To bring down the mamalikol level of Hashem, the internal level of Hashem, and the encompassing level of Hashem. Mm -hmm. So how do we create a personal Mishkan now? By learning Torah, which internalizes godliness, and mitzvahs, which are the encompassing level. And the mitzvahs are like Yudhiyas HaMishkan, K'aydei HaMitzvahs, Nasa B'chinus Levushim L'Nefesh. Because through the mitzvahs we learn, becomes the garment. Your righteousness will go before you. The glory of Hashem will gather you. And that's the level of Yiriyas, the curtains, which are Makifim. And Teres, Bechinus, Mazen, Lenefesh. Like it says in the Pasik, David Amalch says until him, Teres, Chabesech, Me'oi. David Amalch says, Your Teres is in my stomach. It doesn't mean his Teres is in the stomach. So it means, in the Kishke. No, in, in the yeshivasha world, when a guy comes up with an idiotic brain, brainstorm that says it's a, it's a beich swara, it's a logic from his stomach. I mean, you know, so teras v'seich meyo, it means, because teras is digested internally. And v'zeo kriya mishka v'chir the panimis, okay? So the prayer says like this. Two things. What's the connection between Shabbos and Mishkan? When Hashem gave the commandments, first was the kalim, the, the curtains, and then the Shabbos. 
The other way was first the Shabbos and Yiris and the Caleb. Like what was the order switched? Well, the Hovens had to understand this. He, the Hakim would need to understand Bashukosu what the Pasik says, Ani Hashem Le Shanisi. Hashem says, I haven't changed. Sha'im by his bar shum shinui, there's no change in Hashem. Or his spiders has for shalom, or any impact whatsoever, I they bring through creation. Like we learned this many times. Just like Hashem existed only be, solely before the world existed, the same thing, the only existence is, is Hashem now that there is a world. Just like Hashem was the only existence before the world was created, so it is also after creation. Like we say in Davani, right? You existed before the world, you existed after the world. So here it doesn't mean simply, okay, you were there before, you're there now. No, so what it means is just like before the world you existed, that's the same way you exist now. Which means, world doesn't change anything in Hashem. Why? Because Hashem is so remote. And so infinitely disassociated from world, it doesn't do anything to him. Because the chayis that Hashem gives to make the world exist is only a ha'ar ba'alma, a slight ray. From the essence of Hashem. So in other words, this that Hashem gives existence to the world is such a slight revelation that has nothing in comparison to who he is. Minute, like we said, one speech, bidvar Hashem, one word created everything. That one word compared to the power of speech, which is infinite, compared to the power of thought, power of midas, power of intellect, power of willpower. So that one word compared to the essence of the neshama is, is totally non-existent. So therefore, even though Hashem created the world with one word, there's nothing to do connected to Hashem whatsoever. And this sa'ada is from the level of Malchus Soyiz Barich, which is the level of Malchus that says, Hashem spoke, 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 spoke. That's Malchus. Like it says, Malchus Ha Malchus Kol Elamim. Shachai is Kol Elamim, that the life of all the worlds is Mibchin is Malchus is only the level of Malchus, of Malchus. From the fact that Hashem calls himself king over the worlds, that is their existence. See, if you would be a Shabbos morning, when we learn Shah Yichud Vamuna, yeah, yeah, I know, I got it. If you'd be here when we learn Shah Yichud Vamuna Shabbos morning, the Alter explains this concept that the midas of Hashem have absolutely nothing to do with Hashem.